How you doing? It's Max, and we're getting ready for Savor Green Bay coming up July 22nd through the 23rd. Cruise is going to be part of it. Uh, you've seen our other two videos, so now we round it out now. We're at the Mustard Seed Cafe. With me here is Ken. He's got the chef jacket and everything. You're all set, man. And uh, well, I appreciate you doing this for us here. So what are you going to do for us? Uh, today we're, uh, we're going to do one of the uh, items that we're going to do on Savor. It's going to be a braised uh, head of romaine with uh, roasted red pepper sauce and Parmesan cheese. And this is the romaine right here, right? That's right, right okay. here. So really, basically all we're going to stock, you know, the components we have in the sauce, we have some also red peppers and we buy these in the store. All right. uh, some garlic, some red wine vinegar. Yeah, I see alcohol. And uh, <laughs> um, a little olive oil. So basically, um, what we want to do is we want to puree this in the food process. So we want to add those there. All right. A little garlic. Uh, this, is, uh, this is probably an industry uh, type uh, food yeah, process. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, this is the one we have here, so you can use the so the ones at home are going to be just fine. All right. Actually, you can use a blender too if you have that. Oh, really? Yeah, nice. Just mix it up in there, and uh, right. now, is that going to create a paste? Yeah, it's almost going to be pureeing. You're going to almost be pureeing in here. Okay. Now, how many uh, seconds are we? Uh, we're going to leave this on here till about, for about a minute. Okay. And 45 seconds to a minute until it's pretty liquefied. And in the meantime, you can add uh, a right. Tabasco. Put some heat on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll put a little uh, red wine vinegar in there to screw off. Nice. So all we're going to do here is we get our romaine here. Yeah, do it. And we're just going to trim this down just a little bit so it smells fantastic. So we can throw this in the pan make sure we get that. Uh, now this is actually designed to be done on the uh, on the grill outside. So if you've got a gas grill or a charcoal grill, you, you kind of want a hot heat for it. So I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. All right, so you're going to trim it down, and, and I'm going to take the rest of this and I'm going to put it in the pan. So go to the next video after this, and we'll continue on.